fret, children. You're not late for dinner. Let's follow. What is all this? It looks wrong. Done well to come so far. Oh, look at you all, your skin and bones. Please sit. Let us eat. Rachel, what the hell is this all about? Today is a very special ceremony. It's important to make sure you begin it with a full stomach. Please eat, or it'll get cold. Stop these games! All of this is nothing more than holograms. Where are you keeping Julius? Bring him out here right now, damn you! Shh. Sweet Julius is fast asleep. He's been working so hard for your arrival. We mustn't wake him before it's time. I'm actually glad we have a moment. It seems like ages since we've had a proper talk. I want to hear everything. Sit. Let us talk until he awakens. Oh, first, I'd love to hear about your time in the Far East. Have you gone on many missions? All right, Rachel, just tell us what the hell you want. What kind of sick game are you playing? <laughs> oh, Gilbert, that's such a silly question. There's no game. You know all people are driven by their will. I taught you that. All I've done until this moment has been for the sake of mankind. To help the weak, ignorant, foolish mortals to survive the coming trial. Dr. Rachel, if I may ask a question of you. There's the shield I know and love. So clever. I've such fond memories of your childhood. Go ahead, my dear. Dr. Leia told us everything. About your father, the children at Magnolia Compass, the plague patients, the fall. She blames herself. But none of that explains why. Is all of this just for Julius? What are you even trying to achieve? Even before you began, you knew you'd hurt innocent people. How could you do something so wicked? as brilliant and insightful as always, Sheila. I have a story that I wish to tell you all. Perhaps that will answer your questions. The story of a girl who became an Aragami. and I are getting along so much better now. She and I stay up and talk all the time. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Leah. Your mother is certainly looking down and smiling upon us from heaven. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. And Rachel's really, really nice now. We never fight at all anymore. But sometimes when we talk, she'll just stare off into nothing, Papa. She'll mumble something really quiet to herself and smile. <laughs> Don't worry, little Leah. When I was her age, I was always debating physics with the trees and laughing with the wind. Rachel has the spark. She may become a visionary scientist one day. It's crucial to learn how to converse with nature. Really? Right? Of course, my darling. You two will be amazing 
My little girl's working as one to make the world a better place. All of us, my sister, my father, even me, all born of human blood. We're all wicked. The best way is to swallow it all. Swallow until nothing will remain. But everything has to be eaten. Everything. Yes. Okay. I'll find someone. Someone who can devour all of this wicked world. The restless god was within me, always whispering in the dark. Telling me how it could be done. I could end the chaos, it told me. I alone could bring unto the world a devouring apocalypse. Then I found my sweet Julius. side by side. We are the final sacrifice to awaken Julius.
Is it done? Dr. Rachel. The devouring apocalypse has at last begun. Shatter and burn thy decrepit world. It is a power beyond human ken. Despair at its rise. I had hoped that you, my beautiful children, would stand with me. Would face the end of all time beside me. Alas, you have already chosen your path. You chose to wander in shadowed and dangerous woods. Now you shall sleep eternally. Farewell, flesh of my flesh. Farewell, blood. Let us meet again in the new world. A world uncorrupted. Julius, you must now awaken. <laughs> Look, Julius, it's morning. The sun is shining. All your new friends are waiting for you. Good morning to you, my dear Julius. It is a brand new day for all of us.
is almost identical to the pattern of a devouring apocalypse. There's still time before it reaches us over here. Retreat to the Far East Branch for now. I know we can find a way to stop this. Captain, there's no other choice. We must withdraw. I'm afraid I have ill news. We considered your report and the results of bias field monitoring. At this point, we must assume that the transformation is complete. Julius has become a singularity. If that is so, I am afraid there is almost no hope of saving him. And if we allow the devouring apocalypse to begin, that is the end for all of humanity. All life will be purged, reset, and redistributed. The world will cease to exist in its current form. Director Sakaki, is there anything we can do? There must be some way to stop it. Hmm. Let me begin by saying one thing. I have never agreed with sacrificing the few for the many. No matter how desperate, there is always a path to victory that doesn't require sacrifice. Miracles happen when hope rises. My friends have proven that truth to me. It is undeniable. Listen well. There may be a path to such a miracle here. Still, it will be a narrow one, and treacherous. One misstep. Well, you may still manage to stop the devouring apocalypse, but the cost will be unbearably high. All of blood, Miss Yuno, and others may lose their lives. Discuss it first among yourselves and with Miss Yuno. When you're ready, I'll tell you my plan. What do you mean, ready? We're ready now! It's reckless, dangerous, mad even. Yet I know that if I tell you, you'll begin without a second thought. I want to be completely honest with you first. Please, discuss it together. Think it over. You must come to a decision you won't regret. Think hard about who and what you fight for. really think we can stop something like the devouring apocalypse? What do you mean? I can't imagine how powerful it must be. We're ultra strong, I know, but are we really strong enough to fight something like that? You're all so incredible. Apocalypse. And not only that, we'll bring Julius back.
It is a risk to be sure, but the only thing that can stop a devouring apocalypse is yet another devouring apocalypse. Director Sakaki, have you gone mad? Not at all. I mean, well, not this time. Listen, a devouring apocalypse begins with a singularity, such as Julius. They impose a devastating will to rewrite the world from scratch. With the power of another singularity to wake another devouring apocalypse, we could face this head on. I believe we would have the pure strength needed to counteract Julius's will. Before I even begin to explain singularities and apocalypses, I'll need to explain the Black Plague. You see, the plague is a mechanism used to create a singularity. Julius overcame a merciless natural selection process to prove himself capable of taking on this role. Miss Yuno and the other patients who contracted the plague couldn't endure the selection. They're failures, in a manner of speaking. Failures? Director, there's just no way. You mean every death because of the plague was meaningless? No, no, not at all, and I'll tell you why. Here's the twist. The plague patients are only failures when you consider there to be only one singularity. Do you all understand? If we combine the will of those infected, it may indeed be more than enough to counter the completed singularity. Well, in theory at least. <laughs> Yes, in theory, but we have no way to accomplish that. Precisely, Seal. Now, the key to establishing a singularity is a powerful resonance, yes? After all is said and done, a singularity is merely a great will, and the expression of will is a great resonance. When multiple wills merge, they form a resonance, one that amplifies human hope. It multiplies that hope, spreading it over vast distances. Your blood unit is the ideal embodiment of that very resonance. Like as not, blood unit can't trigger a resonance that strong, and we fight at full strength. I'm afraid the infected have little chance. Ah, there's the rub. The plague is born of oracle cells, and the patients, well, they don't have enough will to form an elegant resonance. However, will we solve the problem? Resonance is not the only harmony of human hope. It is not the only tool by which we can bind together will and strength. Lo, there are others. Isn't that right, Miss Yuno? You know? Huh? You've always held that music brings together the hearts of its listeners as one, correct? Yes, I have. I... I want to believe that. Good answer. I want you to sing, Miss Yuno, like you've never sung before. Melody will be the catalyst to bind together our wills. I will. I'll do everything I can. Our success will depend on each and every one of you. When her song has bound the will of humanity together, use the evoke ability that dwells in your blood. The resonance it triggers will amplify this collective will and complete the singularity. You see? In brief, Miss Yuno gathers the willpower, and you, my good captain, shall amplify its strength with the power in your veins. We will create an apocalypse to fight an apocalypse. Mad? Almost certainly. But it's the only choice we have. <laughs>